How can I create this nice adaptive fog effect like in Dead Cells? Well, if you have watched my previous particle video, you already know. What? So what do we do? We have this one layer, which we called the weather, and we just go on overlay. Uh, when you have seen my last particle tutorial, we will just do a lot of things similar. So what we can do, we just copy the whole thing, because it's kind of useful to do, and we don't have to do things twice, copy and paste. And here we just don't say snow, we just say amber, and the other one smoke, because that's what it is. Um, the amber particle will be just a little thing flying upwards, which just looks very very nice. And the other one is just the smoke or the cloud which is just going all over the place and creating some nice additive blendings. But the difference here is that we are going to be using the smoke but with some colors to match the outward of the level. So for example if you want to um, use a um, cloud for this level it would be best to, to use some kind, of, some kind of a reddish color. And if you, for example, have another, let's say, swamp level, you just go for a green color uh, to match the atmosphere of the level. So what else do we have here? Let's check this out. So, once to recap very, very fast, we grab the X and Y of the camera, then the height and the width. So we get this point and this point, and so after that we can use the whole area here. And first of all, we want to go for the smoke because this is the more important one in my opinion. The amber is just a little extra cosmetic. So let's go into this and see, is it okay, it's starting with a buffer. We don't need the buffer. We can just delete it. Uh, we go from X to X start, okay. Yep, this is very, very good. So this is already working the way we wanted the clouds. We go for minus 20 for the ember. Ah, okay. We go for a four value for the, for how many clouds we want to create. We don't want to create too many because of their size. They will overlap too fast and just create this um, big, big, big blend. Okay. So the next thing is we need to create actually the the particles. Um, so how do we do that? We just create first of all again a part uh, empty particle. We call it um, smoke, and instantly add it to our emitter here. Here we go. So we don't have to take care of it. And then we need to define a few things. So we can actually copy a lot of things from the particle cloud we just created before and this is what we do. We just take this stuff from the last video and just rebrand it because that's, well, there's no need to do things twice. Again, we go for the shape cloud. So if you don't know how this looks like, it's this little one. Of course, you can go for smoke if you like. Actually, we just go for smoke. Why not? Um, the size is pretty good. This is already good as well. Um, orientation, live. Yeah, everything's pretty decent. So what are we gonna? So just to recap, we take a uh, shape size of the smoke, give it a two between five value of, of size, let it increase a little bit. Don't let it wiggle. Then we say, okay, what kind of orientation, like angle, do you want to have? All kinds of possible ones. Then we just let it jiggle, wiggle a little bit, just a little bit with the two value here. Then we define very small value, let's say medium value of the its life, let it blend and just go from a very faint value, which is just 0.1% to 5%, then fade out again into a 0.1%. This is how this looks like. The only thing we're just gonna be adding here is the color. So we match the tone of the level. So we go for color and color edge as well. No way, so just go for type color and three because we want to have three different colors. Of course, this is again just optional. You don't have to do that, but I think it's, it's pretty neat. 
I have already copied this one here and as you can see these are kind of um, so what kind of colors are you seeing here um, this is starting from a reddish color going into a yellowish color for example if we would run this thing it should already work but it's snowing because we have the other thing just as a snow it just looks like like it's already everything is burning which is pretty nice and if you've been wondering why it's snowing because we're using a new emitter but still calling the spite particle of the snow so don't be confused by that okay so let's go and create our other particle which is the the ember which is just be going up and uh, we again create an empty particle and we can actually copy a few things which i didn't show you but i will just go briefly over them because this is all the the, the same stuff there's no no really big change in here so once again here ember and copy paste copy paste nothing new you should um, expect here what we for example do again here because we want to, to match the tone we just have the same color scheme we use for the clouds and here we go one zero more so um, it is not completely overbearing because as you have been seeing this was way too much so as you can see here we will be using a white image and because it is white we can go and color it easier and better so let's see what what we are doing here so we go for the ember the ember is already quite small and it will stay quite small because between those two values and we just let it go up very very slowly which you can see um, with the 0 0.2 and 0 0.1 value we don't let it increase so go smoothly and nicely up and the direction is 90 which we're gonna change to 110 and that means that it just doesn't go straight upwards it just goes a little bit to the left to the right or upwards and you have the small cone which is still going basically upwards but it looks a little bit more dynamic the orientation is again um, a random value we let it wiggle a bit but not too much then the life is completely different because we want it to go very very long and that's why we go for very very high values because as you can see the speed is quite low and we start at the bottom of the screen it needs some time to catch up to to go into the screen and we can take this one and put it into our emitter which is this one and let's see if I can take yeah we just have to go for a smaller value because the embers are just a few we need to adjust a little bit because we have buffers which I don't really need because it's almost going upwards and we don't want to go from the top but we want to, to start it from the very bottom of the camera and as you can see now it has like this little glowing effect on the background and those embers are flying up which are quite numerous you maybe should reduce the amount uh, to be spawned let's say minus 20 or minus, minus 25 or even more but for now this looks already pretty decent and well this is how you do the overlay like in that sense hope you found this informative and see you next time have a good one one up indie